Please hang up and try again. I've heard it said that when it comes to bass guitars, you get what you pay for. Uh, I personally disagree. Hello, Daniel Childs, Rumbling Man here, as I am known on the web, and I'm here today to discuss a new bass I got, the Schecter Diamond Series Stiletto Extreme 4 string bass guitar, and it is awesome. Yeah, I've heard it said that you get what you pay for when it comes to bass, but I don't agree. Uh, yes, an American Fender is always going to be better than a Mexican Fender. Yes, a Lakeland is always going to be better than an Ibanez, okay? But here's the thing, that doesn't mean that there are not great affordable bases out there. And I myself, not being a man with a lot of money, am definitely a connoisseur of great affordable bases. And I bought a new base yesterday, and uh, not one that I even expected to get, but it's uh, quite amazing if you do ask me, and if I do say so myself, this is the Stiletto Extreme 4, made by Schecter, part of the Diamond series. I know it's beautiful, it's a very cool looking bass. Obviously looks are not what makes a bass whatsoever, but I mean, that is a very, very beautiful bass. Um, the sizing is, it's, uh, it's 34 inch scale here, so it's gonna be about one inch shorter than most of the standard fenders, I think they're usually 35. Here's what I like about uh, about this Schecter bass. Um, Schecter prides themselves on great guitar research, and they pride themselves on making an instrument that comes set up, ready to play. I appreciate that, because I'm not a setup genius when it comes to basses. And uh, listen, I haven't done any setup work on this at all, and don't plan to other than maybe changing the strings. Uh, no setup needs to be done on this, the action looks great, it looks perfect. They make basses that come ready to play, and I appreciate that because look, I'm a big fan of Fender basses, and, uh, but I've had, uh, <laughs> I've had a couple different Mexican Fenders and, and also Squires and stuff that did not come ready for action. This bass comes ready for action, okay? You're not gonna have problems with this neck. Six bolt. Okay, look how bolted down that is onto this thing. This neck is not going to get warped out of shape. It's just not going to happen. You don't have to worry about going in and fixing a truss rod and whatnot. And you know what? If you want to change your string action, you got saddles. You can do it with a small Allen wrench, like on any Fender bass. This is going to come ready to play. All right, folks. Here's the kind of woods we're looking at. Mahogany. Great color, kind of a transparent uh, black cherry with a matching headstock. The headstock is maple. The neck is maple, which I like. I like the good expensive feel of maple. The fretboard is rosewood, and even though I usually prefer maple, the rosewood does not bug me at all. Got these great kind of diamond uh, uh, pearl inlays on the neck. We got two humbuckers. Um, the humbucker pickups are made by Schechter themselves. Great hardware. Um, and also, there is a preamp on board. Uh, this is an active bass with an active EQ to give you the maximum control you need. This thing is ready to play and it's affordable. Listen, uh, this cost me just under uh, just under four hundred dollars. I got a gig bag with it, and my total yes, and a couple bottles of water. It was a Guitar Center, and uh, my total is four twenty five, something like that. This is a bass that is going to impress you, that you're going to love to play, and uh, and that's going to come ready to play, and that you're not going to spend top dollar on. Why spend a bunch of money when you're on a budget? This is an amazing bass. I definitely highly recommend it. I went into the store yesterday not expecting to get a Schecter. Um, I sold a bass yesterday, so that's why I had the money to go get another one. And uh, I was expecting to pick up a vintage modified Squire because I had been looking at the Jaguar and one of their jazzes. And I did play those in the store and they were cool. But once I plugged this up, it was just a different world. The sales dude just recommended it and I plugged it up and it blew me away because the bass boost that you get with this knob right here is just impeccably clear, powerful tone. And, and and booming tone. Listen, I've had an active Music Man Stingray before. I don't have it anymore, but I'm gonna tell you, I like this better than that Stingray. The neck is nice and slim, kind of like uh, 
I guess kind of more like a not not exactly like a jazz bass, but more like a jazz bass. It's not going to be some you know some big hard to play neck thick like a P bass. This is going to be easy to play, easy to slide your fingers around on. Here's what these knobs are. This is a bass boost and cut, treble boost and cut. This is a tone knob like you'll find on any P bass or anything. This is volume. Uh, and this thing is just it, it is absolutely awesome. It looks great, feels great in your hands. I love the woods they used. It's a fabulous bass, and it sounds great. So uh, let's plug it up. I'm going to dial in a couple different configurations on here to get some cool sounds, and I'm going to show you exactly what makes this bass an amazing instrument, in my opinion, as a professional musician. Thank <laughs> you. 